In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how to bring your SketchUp scenes into a VR walkthrough in Prospect. I'll also show you how to create new viewpoints in VR, and lastly, how to use Prospect's guided navigation mode to help guide new VR users in their first VR experience. Let's get started. Here's a SketchUp file with a few scenes loaded. Let's check out the entrance stair scene. To activate a different scene, I can simply double click on it. Now I actually want to create a new scene between entry and entrance stair. So to do this, let's zoom out and use the position camera tool to set the view. You can then left click and hold to fine tune this view. Now I'm going to click the plus icon to add the scene to my scene list. And at the bottom, I'll rename it to garden. I actually want to reorder the scene by clicking the up arrow. And then I'll test out my new scene sequence. Looks pretty good. Remember to save the file before loading it into Prospect. With Prospect open, I'll just drag and drop my SketchUp file to load it in, and it'll take just a few seconds to process. Once it's processed, you'll see that all the SketchUp scenes have been converted to viewpoints. If you uncheck a viewpoint, it becomes inactive. Only active viewpoints will be visible within VR. Take a few seconds to uncheck viewpoints that are not necessary for your walkthrough. In this case, I'm only giving a walkthrough of the entry sequence. Once I'm ready, I'll just click View in VR to launch the VR experience. In VR, let's pull up the Viewpoints menu to confirm that the viewpoints have been brought in. To go to the next viewpoint, simply select the right arrow. Now, say that I want to hide the figure in this view. I can do that by simply hiding the entourage layer. I can also go to my sun settings and toggle the slider to improve the lighting. I also want to turn on outlines for clarity. Once I'm set, I can save this as a new viewpoint and the layer, sun, and model display settings will all be saved. It's pretty easy to make viewpoints from within VR. Let's go to the dining room to create another one. First, I'm going to switch off materials and turn on outlines. And next, I'm going to tweak the sun settings a little bit so that the sunlight is coming in through the French doors. Now I can save this as a brand new viewpoint. And again, you can see that the material display setting has been saved along with it. I can also create viewpoints from scale model mode. I'm going to reset the model first and then enable the section tool. Let's tweak the sun settings a little bit again to change the display of the shadows. And then once I'm happy, I'll save this as a new viewpoint to complete my walkthrough. Back in the desktop app, you can see that the three new viewpoints we created within VR have been added to the viewpoints list for this project. From here, you can easily rename and reorder the viewpoints to further curate your walkthrough. Also note that now, the viewpoint previews have been saved in this list. These are not visible the first time you import the model into Prospect. Now that my viewpoints have been finalized for the VR walkthrough, I also want to double check the transition options for the guided navigation mode. Guided navigation is a useful feature to control the VR experience of the headset wearer using your keyboard and mouse. This is extremely helpful for a first time VR user who may have difficulty operating the controllers. Once they are within VR, you can pull up the Viewpoints menu from the desktop and navigate them to the desired viewpoint. Since we left the viewpoint name and fade transition options checked, these have been enabled. You can easily toggle these on and off prior to entering VR. I hope you've been able to see how easy it is to create a VR walkthrough in Prospect using the scenes from your SketchUp model. Thanks for watching.